teenager is gaining attention around the halls of Gretna High School. And not for what she's done on the field, the court, or even in the classroom, but in the art studio. KETV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has this new story in six. It's what's known as drip or action painting. When Emily Jekyll's hands hit the canvas, there are no brushes or easels to be found. But it's what Emily overcomes to finish her works of art that help paint the purpose of this story. Look at that. She splatters and sprays paint on a canvas in ways that would make Jackson Pollock proud. 19 year old Gretna High student Emily Jekyll has cerebral palsy, so painting with a brush is not possible. Her brain's fully functioning, and just her body doesn't allow her to, you know, hold a brush and get detail painting. So. Enter Jill Janke, art teacher at Gretna High. Together, these two shrug off brushwork and blending for buckets, bottles, even basters. And that's just a fraction of their artistic arsenal. Cans and cups and then um, just spray bottles that I picked up. Amanda Seamers, Emily's teacher and human easel, knew from the start that Jekyll and Janky would be a perfect fit, like watercolors and paper. She has a great, um, great enthusiasm, great look for color and style and uh, just a joy and a zest for life. That joy and zest is reflected in Emily's art. And she loves to joke with Janky and Seamers. Yes, yeah, she definitely likes to attack me with the paint. After an hour or so, their work is complete. The three take a moment to admire. This painting, extra special for Emily. It will be a gift for someone near and dear to her heart. For Janky, a teacher that's gone above and beyond, she's glad to have a new friend and partner in paint. I just love her. Uh, this is the third painting Emily's completed this year, and she has no desire of stopping. Emily's mother, Amy, was also on hand today. She praised and thanked all at Gretna High for giving her daughter this gift. Robin Brandy, back to you.